Hey yo, hey yo, how's everybody doing on YouTube? Here we go. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, I'll hopefully, I will be able to uh, check as well on my headphones. If it's too loud, just let me know. You know how my boys can get a little excited here in the studio. Okay, it's sounding pretty good. So I'm also live right now on Instagram. So everybody on Instagram, hop over to YouTube, and we're going to go open these boxes right here and then um, and then answer your questions. All right, so all right, let me end the live stream over on Instagram. That was fun. Okay, now we're just live on YouTube. So, so good. And let me just share this to Instagram. Holy smoke, so much, so much communication. It's unbelievable. Dan is here. Nico is here. Hello, Dan. Good to see you, sir. Nico is always in the house. Run, Tommy. I really missed the turkey trot this year. Oh, no. Uh, Antonetta is always here, throwing down the bells in the chat. Hello. Oh, Peter. Peter, an old school classic now at this point. Peter, you are always tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Mark is here loud and clear. Okay, good. I'll try and... I'll try and stay calm. Try not to yell into the microphone if you know what I mean. All right. So good to see everyone. Oh, man. So, yes, King Life Tail is in the house. Thanks for tuning in, sir. Sam is here. Oh, my goodness. Already 200 people watching. That's amazing. So we're going to let the uh, live stream breathe a little bit. Okay. Let it uh, percolate on the YouTube intrawebs. And then we're going to open up three boxes. Three boxes, that's right. Uh, I don't know what's in these boxes. They arrived at my house. One of them arrived last night. Some of you saw that over on Twitter. And uh, so, and then we'll answer your questions as well. So many good chats going on. Let us know where you're watching from. Represent strong in the chat. If you uh, can find your country flag as well in the and put it in the chat, that would be amazing. So I just saw a Belgian flag fly by in the chat. Let's go. That's right. All right, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Come on now. Come on now. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, colon, G-O-O, -O, colon, in the chat. You get me fired up when I see that going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So Ivan is here. Um, Carl is watching from Kent, UK. UK, always a strong presence in the live stream. Okay, let me drag that down a little bit here. Um, let's see. Oh, man, trying to, trying to, Traxta, trying to. So here we are. Can hear you. Good volume. Okay, good, Martin. Good, good, good. I appreciate that update. And who else is here? Duncan's in the house. There it is. There it is. Um, okay, Indiana's here. Let's see. England, New Waverly, Texas, Salt Lake City, Utah, Lincoln, uh, Ottawa, Canada. Oh my goodness, there's so many. It's hard. Uh, let's see. That looks like Mexico, Gilbert, Arizona, Sweden. Oh, Brazil, Germany, Norway, Czech Republic. Oh my goodness. It's, it's too much. It's too much. I can't even handle it. It's just too much. Normandy. Ooh, I love Normandy. I've only been there once, but it was a beautiful area to visit. Butter is in the house. That's right, Adam. All day, every day. Brazil is here. Bosnia and Herzegovina. There it is. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that close to right. You know me in pronunciation. It never really works out completely well. Uh, squashing, <laughs> Squashington, D.C. There you go, Donovan. Madison, Mississippi's here. Jersey's here. Oh, good old Jersey. Can't forget Latvia in the house. Norfolk in the U.K. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. Woo, almost 400 people watching. Okay, so um, we'll let it breathe a little bit more. One more question. You know the drill. How was your run today? What did you do? Did you do a workout? Did you do a long run? Did you did you take a day off? Huh? Or maybe you went to uh, the gym and you did some cross training. So let us know how your run uh, was today. Alex, are you coming to us from Japan? That looks like Japan's flag. So uh, Alex, thanks for tuning in. Looks like you're tuning in from Japan. What time is it in Japan? It's, is it like early morning over there? Anyway, let us know. Alex in the chat, Naples, Italy, Antoinetta. So, so good. Okay. And of course, as we continue through, not quite yet, save your questions for a second, but it does help. And I, I'll always answer questions, whether you are a member or you're not. But if you are, 
and you want to use where is it there it is question hold on hold on this really really does help in the chat because there are so many questions so anyway you know how to use it and it does help me see the questions pop out just a little bit okay so we've got some uh workouts coming in let's see oh my goodness 8k and three degrees fahrenheit from marcos Woo chilly chilly marcos that's pretty uh that's the real deal up in canada it was six degrees yesterday here in denver and i thought that was pretty cold so easy three gearing up for a 30k trail says nick awesome nick very good rest day for andre and he reminds me uh-oh uh-oh where is it hold on hold on there there it is andre there's the tea there's the tea cheers clank i got my tea going i uh, decided to go with some uh, english breakfast tea uh this afternoon decaf decaf everybody so hold on let me take it let me take a sip here mm -hmm. okay very good Colorado Springs here in the house. George is here. Okay, let's see. I saw a three by eight minute threshold. That's good. Let's see. Amy, two mile warm up, two mile threshold pace, two one mile cool down. Very good. Australia's watching, of course. Australia always strong. Joel is saying 24 by 200 at 35. We got some we got some speed coming to the track. Good work, Joel. That is awesome. Okay. Let me take another sip. And then we're going to open some boxes. Sound good? Plenty to open. And then we'll dive into your questions. Oh, man. Mm. So, so good. Okay. Setting that down. I do appreciate you tuning in, as always. Oh, I wish I could shake all your hands. You know, I uh, someday, you know, we're all going to be traveling a little bit more, I do believe. You know, going to races. So I, I just look forward to meeting many of you. At some point, you know, in different races, different settings around the world, group runs. So it will happen. But anyway, so good to see you. Um, Ryan is saying 3,500 feet on the treadmill. There you go. Oh, my goodness. That is some, uh, that is, that's a lot. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot. That's, uh, I, I think I might know what you're training for, Ryan. That is a lot of uh, vert on a treadmill. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, here we go. Box number one, shall we? Shall we? And again, I don't know what is in these, what's in these boxes. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just trying to review as many shoes as possible for all of you. Oh boy, super chat coming in from Marcos. Thank you, Marcos. Looks like you're, oh yeah, you're up in Canada. I do appreciate the support of the channel, Marcos. So, um, a lot of brands, you know, because of you, because of you, this channel has grown a lot in the last, you know, 12 months, which is amazing. It's, it's, I'm ever grateful. But it also means more running shoe companies are sending me shoes. And at the end of the day, I can only test out so many pairs of shoes because I can't run, you know, <laughs> 150 or 200 miles a week. Um, so just because I open up a pair of shoes doesn't necessarily mean I'm going like it's a guarantee that I'm going to review the shoes. I always try to review the uh, shoes, uh, f like do at least one run. And if I love the shoe, I'll take it to 50 miles. If I don't love the shoe, that's it. Yeah, I run in it once and then I have to move on. So thank you again for being here, spreading the word about the channel. It does. Uh, it makes a difference in the sense that the brands recognize, like they, they realize, okay, there's a lot of traffic happening, a lot of comments, a lot of discussion happening below the running shoe reviews, and they love that, okay? So, again, I'm indebted to you for all of this. Oh, that would, uh, Cody, that would be interesting. Actually, let's get a guess. First question, what is in the first box? Oh, man, that would be amazing. Joey, that would be amazing. Don't think so, but that would be amazing. Oh, man. Oh, I just love throwing the comments up because it's just amazing. Chipego uh, Changula from Birmingham, UK. Okay, here we go. In no particular order. Okay, what's it going to be? First box. Get the guesses going. All right. Got my knife. Don't worry. It's not sharp. Okay. Okay. I don't know. A box arrived last night. I'm not... I don't know if this is it. Uh, Craft CTM Ultra Carbon. Well, the thing is... If you're paying 
real close attention, you see something over my right shoulder. Something over my right shoulder. All right, I'll just leave it there. Uh-huh. Lisbon in the house. Very good. Antonio. Oh, my goodness. 500 people watching. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that is amazing. Okay. Hold on. Actually, let's. I can't resist. I just can't resist. Hold on. Hold on. We're waiting for that first... Uh, we're waiting for that first new uh, new member. But in the meantime, you better believe we're going to do this guy. We're going to do this guy. Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. Closing my eyes. Should we do the? Should we do it? Uh, okay, my eyes are closed. I promise. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay? I'm not looking. Hold on. All right. What is it? Hmm. Sometimes you can tell what it is not just based off of the box. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, try not to hurt myself. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, what is it? Hold on. Hold on. I'm not looking. Oh, it's a trail shoe. Oh, oh, interesting. Hopefully I'm standing by the microphone. Okay, there it is. Huh, okay. Interesting. Wait, I think, yeah, it's definitely a trail shoe. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh. Solomon uh, Ultra 3. Solomon Ultra 3, butter the bread. There, you know, I just had to grab for the shoelace. As, as soon as I felt the shoelace, I was like, oh, done. See ya, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Solomon Ultra 3, butter the bread. It threw me for a second because it's a new collar around the ankle. All right, new collar. And it's kind of the uh, booty style collar. Okay, so it's they've definitely changed that up. I remember reading about that ahead of time. But of the bread, how was that for you? Solomon Ultra 3 coming at you. So very excited. Hopefully the landing got a little bit... Um, Hopefully the landing got a little softer from the Ultra 2. I thought the Ultra 2 was a little firm through the landing. So, oh, I know. Right, Bridget? I completely agree, Bridget. I completely agree. Okay, let's set these down. Actually, let's set one of them over here. Okay, let's not break anything. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay, shall we do it again? Shall we do it again? Okay. Actually, should, let me do a better job just so you guys can actually see it better. Okay, there's the, there it is. Okay. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, there it is. All right, so there's that new collar. I'm actually pretty excited. It feels it feels just a little softer in the durometer test with the thumb, okay? So I'm excited. Very good. Good job, Solomon. Excited about that. All right, box number two. Here we go. All right, now I do know what is in as far as the, the, the company. I don't know what's inside here, but obviously if you saw the box, um, you would know. Um... Oh, man, so many good questions. Oh, my goodness. Almost, well, 560 people watching. That's amazing. Thanks for tuning in. Hello from Wales. Uh-huh. Yes, indeed. I do like the Nova Blast. You better believe it. Mm, we want more. We want more. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So many good comments. I wish I could uh, answer them all, but that's not physically possible. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Ready? All right, we'll do it again. Uh-huh. Okay. I know it's Brooks because the box was a Brooks right there. So, uh-huh. Okay. Here it is. Uh-huh. Oh, man. I think it's another trail shoe. Hold on. Let me set this down. Hold on. There it is. Oh, boy. Brooks. Let me think here. Let me think. I'm not as familiar with the Brooks trail shoes. Oh, boy. It's definitely a trail shoe from Brooks. It is the, let's see. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Let me just think. Rack my brain. Rack my brain. The, oh man, I'm, I'm, let me just think. I, I, I'm not as, I don't, I've, I, I've tested. Oh, I mean, it's not the catamount, which I enjoyed. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. Okay, here we go. It is the Brooks Caldera. Oh, that was on my mind. The Brooks Caldera 5. There you go. Brooks Caldera 5. Um, a trail shoe from Brooks. There it is. Oh, they stumped me. You stumped me, Brooks. I've never, I've never trained in the Caldera lineup. So this is a brand new shoe to the rotation. 
Thank you, Brooks, very much for sending these. Brooks Caldera 5, Butter the Bread. Who's a Brooks Caldera fan? I, I have no experience in this lineup. All right, so thanks for any help you can provide in the chat. Butter the Bread, okay, we'll set this guy right over here. Okay, I kind of like the colorway there. All right, one more, one more box. Any guesses? Uh-huh, mm-hmm. I like the Brooks Caldera trail shoe, says Dan. Um, you are welcome, Nick. It was an honor to be on your podcast. I was on Nick's podcast uh, yesterday, and uh, there you go. There you go. You are welcome, Max. I appreciate you tuning in always, and uh, man, we're just one day at a time turning that door on, right? Waiting for races to come back online, so that is, we just keep going. That's right. Uh, I agree. I agree. The red color is kind of nice. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like it. It's kind of like a dark, really dark, uh, a dark red. It's nice. It's very nice. Okay. One more box. Shall we? Shall we? Okay. Oh my goodness. So good. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm okay. I'm gonna do it again. See if I can't. See if I can't pull it off again. Okay. Closing the eyes. I know I need somebody in here to put a blindfold, a blindfold. Okay, well, I may have just given it away for you guys. All right, here it is. All right, oh, uh-oh, what is it? Last shoe box. Oh my my, okay, one, two, three. Okay, whoa, whoa, ooh, whoa, that feels, okay, that's, uh, I'm gonna say that is not a trail shoe, hold on. Okay, let me just set that there. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Reebok float ride, uh, float ride, uh, energy three. Is that the name? float ride? Okay, it's definitely Reebok. There it is. Yes, uh, Reebok float ride. Uh, the let me just think here. The float. Oh, what is the official name? The uh, yes, run fast three. There it is. Reebok float ride run fast three. What did I say at the end of 2020? I wanted to explore a new running shoe company in 2021. And I called myself out and said, I need to be testing more Reebok shoes in 2021. There it is. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, so excited about this guy. Okay. This is exciting. Um, I've, oh yeah. So the only other Reebok shoe that I've tested, I do believe in the last two years is the float ride, uh, run fast pro. Okay. The, the one. So again, I just wanted to work Reebok into the rotation in 2021. Very exciting. Hold on. Let me just adjust this light a little bit. It's just getting a little, a little yellow on us there. Okay. So very cool. Let's get into your chats. Um, I will Jordan. It is on the radar. I will, I will. So there you go, everyone. There is the three shoes. Let me just put this one up on the shelf here. I'll take uh, take the Nova Blast down. There's the Nova Blast, okay? Put that down there. And let's, of course, uh, jump in to your questions. All right, and you know the drill. Once again, if you could, it does help a lot to use that uh, that guy right there just so I can see your question. If, you know... Um, if you have access to that, I don't know what's going on with the light, the light I'm trying to monitor, make it look not so yellow. Okay. So let me just drop that down a little bit. Love you guys. Um, okay. So yes, Dan, they, I will be testing the new Puma shoes. Uh, got when I don't know exactly. I'm a little behind right now, Dan and everybody else, but I'm going to, I'm in catch up mode now. So stay tuned. Puma is on the radar so let's go let's go oh that's good to hear anti-gravity 19 that she likes the float rides very good <laughs> edmund that's the only reason that's the only reason i bought them right broncos colorways orange and blue go broncos you better believe it oh yeah edmund <laughs> i am yes alice indeed puma is on the radar for sure okay here we go. Okay, again, there's so many questions. Um, let me just see. Um, okay, Adrian, that's a good question. Well, Adrian, um, 
the Nike, uh, I'm not too excited about Nike right now in the sense that um, the Infinity Run Flyknit 2 that I purchased about three weeks ago and I put it on my foot and the first time I laced it up, I tore the upper, I tore the tongue and it's a $160 shoe. That's not acceptable. I'm sorry, Nike. It's just not acceptable. So that's why I'm not too excited right now about Nike. And guess what? I am not. Five other people have reported the same thing to me. Two people on Instagram, one guy on Twitter, and then two guys down in the comments um, on the vlog when I unboxed those shoes. It was like just before Naples, roughly, is the vlog. It's it's You, you can find it in the archive. And I just, in my $160 shoe, that should not be happening. That shouldn't be happening to any shoe, but especially a $160 shoe. So anyway, that's what I had thoughts on that, Adrian. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Connor says, I've been watching the vlogs, but have you decided on running 10K or half marathon next? Connor, Connor. Okay. Actually, Connor, it's a good question. And guess what, Connor? I will give you an update in tomorrow's vlog, but since you're here live, I will update you right now as, as uh, along with everybody else, is that um, I am I registered today for the half marathon, but, but Connor, I want to do a tune-up race for the half marathon race. So I have not landed yet on a 10K race. Okay, Connor? So hopefully soon, ideally I'm going to do the 10K two weeks before the half marathon. So it'll be a tune-up, all right? So that's the game plan. And again, tomorrow's vlog, I will get you all some updates. Here we go. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, so many good questions. I see them coming in. Um, oh my goodness. Let's, oh my goodness. I see something here uh, from Carrington Slayton. Would you recommend the Carbon X2 or another shoe for someone who is getting back into running? but doesn't have money to get a shoe for training and uh, racing, training and racing. That's a fair question, Carring Carrington. Here's the deal. Uh, I would go I would go probably away from, and it depends on what distance you're talking about with respect to racing and, you know, to a certain extent, your volume of training. I, I don't think you need the Carbon X2. And in fact, I would say, depending on your, you know, injury history, I would say that, um, I would say the, uh, sorry, the Brooks Hyperion Tempo would be a good option for a training shoe that uh, can go tempo pace and definitely even, even faster stuff on the track, but you could also use it for race day. Now it's not the fastest shoe out there. Now I know I'm always talking about this shoe, but if you can wait until March, probably not, but I think a great shoe is going to be the Mach 4 from Hoka that can do some good, fun, up-tempo training, but also could be used for 5K, 10K, half marathon racing, even, frankly, marathon. It's um, And I think it's going to be $130, I do believe. So the Hoka, but it's not out yet. But anyway, Brooks Hyperion Tempo would be another one, but I think it's $150. So I know it's... Uh, it's a balancing act out there for sure. Thanks for being here. Let's see. Please, shoe matrix for stability shoes. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Morpheus, I would. But frankly, it takes a lot of work to make those matrix vlogs. And I'm not quite as well versed with stability shoes. So I don't want to put out bad information ever. And I frankly just need a little more help, which I'm working on. Okay, getting more help with filming, with researching shoes. I mean, I tested, I think I tested over, it was like between 60 and 70 shoes last year between trail and road. And it's, it's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot to handle with respect to research and filming. It's just, a, so Morpheus, I like, I like how you're thinking, but I just gotta be, I need to be strategic with my time is the bottom line. So there you go. There you go. Brand OT in the house. Hey, Seth, do you think it's possible to run a marathon in April and in October for Boston this year? Let me try and find your comment. Brando, Brando, Brando. Thanks for being a member, sir. 100%. That's perfect timing. Uh, traditionally, 
a marathon in the spring and a marathon in the fall is very doable. So absolutely, absolutely. Thanks for being a member. And I do appreciate the question marks. Okay, hello from Canada, Mr. Xbox. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Thanks, Danny, for tuning in. It looks like from Mexico. Um, Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so many questions. I'm tr- I'm just trying to find them everybody. Um Yes, I did, Andras. I did know it's a little sad. It's it's a, it's a little sad, I must say, but I did know that. Yes, co- you are correct. Um So, Michael, uh hop over to Strava, okay? And you'll see a picture of me holding a shoe, and that shoe I ran in today. Okay? And a little hint is over my right shoulder. All right, there you go. I'll just leave it there. I'll just leave it there. Okay, but that is not tomorrow's vlog. I'm just going to warn you right now. Uh Uh-huh. Let's see. Um, I really like Sam. The... It's a little soft, but it's a little more affordable, is the New Balance um, TC Elite. Not the RC Elite, but the TC Elite. Now, they, they still don't give it away. I want to throw out 160, perhaps. But it was a fun shoe. I think the New Balance TC Elite uh, got a little overlooked last year in 2020. So that would be one that uh, comes to mind. But just keep in mind, it's a little bit of a softer midsole. Actually, is this? Yes, there it is. No, 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 that's not it. Anyway, it's not out here right now. Um, so anyway, yeah, the New Balance uh, TC Elite. Okay, moving on here. Um, yeah, I mean, Adrian, it's insane. It's insane. I am gonna, I'm gonna probably be eating all of these words. I bet you. I just love the Mach Four. I just love it. Now maybe it's working best for my gait cycle, but I'm telling you, the upper, how it wraps over the top of the foot. And it's light, no carbon fiber plate, but it just has this uh, something about it that just allows you to... Go- now, so honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I would go Mach 4, personally. I mean, I like the Carbon X2, but I would probably I'd probably go Mach 4 is the crazy thing. Depending on, obviously, how... You know, I think the Carbon X2 would go faster for sure, but depending on where you're hoping to land in the races... Um, so, uh, let's see, let's see. I have not yet. I'm still working on it. Thanks for reminding me. Actually, they're down here. They're down here on the floor right now. Mind blown. So haven't gotten to 50 yet. Mm Mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay. Wastelander 101. If you could choose a legendary athlete to take on a workout, who would it be? Probably today's vlog. I mean, I just love the story of Haile Gebrselassi of Ethiopia. You know, I just like, first of all, for a lot of different reasons. His his life story, his upbringing is very inspiring. But then after his running career, he's he's gone on to become a very, very successful businessman in Ethiopia. So, yeah, Haile, for sure. That's a, that's a, I like that question. That's a good one. Um, yeah, <laughs> Janos, you are, you are astute, sir. He, uh, he is, for those that don't know, he does, he does prefer running in the structures from Nike and, uh, he can run in neutral shoes though, too. So that's interesting. <laughs> He's got his, he, yeah. Oh man. I wouldn't wish it on anybody to start a YouTube channel full time because I know the work that goes into starting a YouTube channel. So I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but uh, I like the uh, I like the notion there. Oh man. Uh-huh. There you go. A little more insight from running shoes from Michael. Very good. Okay. Jello, uh, Meta Racer or Endorphin Speed for 10K. Oh man, can't forget about the Endorphin Speed, everybody. Um, Meta Racer or Endorphin Speed for 10K. Um, hmm. Ooh, that's a good question. Probably. Hmm, that's a good, that's a tough one. You put me in a little spot here. 
I would, I would, I personally would lean toward endorphin speed, but that's an interesting proposition. I have never thought of that before. So by a hair, we're going to go with endorphin speed, man, that's, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, the, I liked the meta racer. Oh man, it was a good shoot, but I think I would say the endorphin speed overall felt a little better with my foot strike. So Mm-hmm. You better believe it, Oran. Shout out to True Love. Uh-huh. She, uh, oh my goodness, over 500 people watching. I do appreciate you tuning in on a Thursday. Let's see. Okay, I'm just answering your questions, everybody. Uh, and you can ask me about, you know, life. Um, as far as, um, you know, life questions, training questions, running shoe questions. Doesn't have to just be uh, running shoe tr- uh, questions. Carrington, that is a great question. I love uh, Gwen Jorgensen. She doesn't post too often, but she's an Olympian from 2016. And she lives up in Oregon and trains with the Bowerman Track Club, I do believe. So Gwen Jorgensen, I'm not sure if I'm saying that last name correctly, but G-W-E-N and then Jorgensen. So she's got like 40,000-ish subscribers, so her channel is doing well. So yeah, that is who I would recommend there. Good question, Carrington. Um, Okay, good. Oh, so many good ones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tommy, you must have just woken up. I just answered that question. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Tommy. Uh, oh, man, Julian. Julian in the house. Coolest looking running shoe of 2020. See, here's the thing. Some running shoe people, some people on YouTube who review running shoes take into consideration the look of the shoe. I like shoes that look good, but I don't include it in my scoring system when I give a full review score for a running shoe because I'm definitely concerned 100% with performance, okay? But it is fun to talk about the coolest looking shoe of 2020. But, um, um, oh boy. See, there's just, it's, Julie, it's just, I get like overwhelmed immediately because um, there's just so many. Um, hmm. Hmm. You know, I think Adidas had a strong year. I think Adidas had a really strong year with a lot of their shoes. Um, not saying I love the uppers, but as far as the look of the uppers, I'm going to go with, you know, everything from the SL20 to uh, the new um, Audios Pro. Yeah, so I'm going to go with Adidas had a strong year. Gosh, if something else hits me, I will follow up it's interesting branding branding is fascinating to me how how companies fall into a you know even like Reebok like I'm you know this is kind of a new look that's you know not very uh you know I haven't done a ton of Reebok shoes in the studio so there's the outsole on the Reebok just so you know kind of like classic Reebok outsole so there you go okay butter the bread yes indeed Oscar Sanchez is here Um, Clive, they just started asking. It's a good question, Clive. Uh, do the brands ask for your input at all? They just started, but guess what, Clive? I've been doing this, you know, for two and a half years, every single day. So it just doesn't happen with a snap of the finger. And, but now they are starting to reach out and, uh, just get some thoughts on everything. Yeah. With, with, and I'm not saying, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that develops uh, over time. Mm-hmm. Ciao, Adrian. Ciao, ciao. Um, I have not raced in Canada, Edmund. There is a sky race in Alberta um, in June. I might do it. Probably not, but I might. It's on my radar. It's uh, it's it's part of the sky racing series. It's in late June up in Alberta. So, uh-huh. Uh, weight of the Mach 4, I think it's um, in my size, I want to say it was about 7.1 or maybe 6.8. Let's say right in that range, 7.2, which is pretty good. It's really good for a trainer and pretty good for a racer. You know, pretty good. Um, good question. Yeah, 
it's 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 a good weight. It's definitely a good weight. I I if I'm I might be uh there's the, the full review. Go watch the full review. I might be off. Maybe it's seven point eight, but I I I thought it was low seven. So good question. Um, me too, Gerard. So for those that are just joining, oh my goodness, 500 people watching. Thank you. You guys are the best, man. Thanks for spreading the word. Um, on a Thursday afternoon, unbelievable. So the goal is to race in Spain in June 6th at, uh, in Zagama, which I'm learning is the Basque country. Yes, indeed. I'm trying to learn my local history a little bit before hopefully I travel over there and that's the goal. So I have been to Spain once before. Good question from Gerard. Um, indeed, indeed. Julian, okay. <laughs> that is uh, that is funny, Connor. You are you are funny there. Um, Solomon, phantasm, best looking shoe. I know. We'll see. Solomon, if you're watching, Solomon, um, send me the phantasm, Solomon. I'm ready to test it. I see it popping up, you know, I'm ready to test it, Solomon. Somebody somebody tag Solomon on Twitter and let them know I am ready to test the Phantasm. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. Uh-oh, cowbell. Woo! So, whenever, there it is, whenever we uh, have a new, hold on, where is he? I saw you there. I saw you there. Stephanie Fetter. Thank you so much. So whenever a new uh, member joins up on the channel, thank you so, so much. We get out the cowbell. Welcome them uh, to the members. And where is that bell? There it is. Boom. So, boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And when you become a member, you do get access to these. Uh, where is it? No, there it is. To these emojis. It's $1.99 a month and it does support the channel in a big big way so thank you so much okay Ooh, i like this question hold on i just saw one jump in here to where is it where is it Bo, come on come on oh i thought it came in from piano man i'll just answer it here chiefs or bucks credit to zach kane for the question but i'm curious too that's awesome i love sports i love running but i love all sports and unfortunately there's no possible way I can cheer for the Chiefs as a Broncos fan. All right, let's just be clear right now. So, but then it's like, how could I ever cheer for a former Patriot who brought so much pain and inflicted so much pain into my life uh, in the uh, AKA, um, I, I can't even, I can't even call him the GOAT, but in Tom Brady. So I, but at the end of the day, I have to say Bucks because there's no way a Broncos fan is going to be cheering for the Chiefs. So we're going Bucks. Pulling home uh, uh, a Super Bowl victory. I can't even believe I'm saying that. So, okay. Let's see. Ethan, what type of trail races do you participate in? So, Ethan, my favorite type of trail racing is half marathon to 50K with a lot of vertical gain. So, you know, 5,000 to 12,000 feet of vertical gain. So a lot big mountains. That's my preferred type of trail racing. And it's probably where I excel the most. So good question. And then maybe someday I'll dabble in 50 milers and hundred milers dabble. As I say, <laughs> uh Oh, come on now. Come on now. I see you there, Tim. Hold on. Where is he? Where is he? Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, Woo! Welcome, Tim. I do appreciate it, sir. It does help me make these daily vlogs. So thank you, Tim, for becoming a member. Butter my bread club. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm not I'm not getting into it, Gavin. I'm not getting into it. Okay. Would you um let's see, Bailey, would you race in Sonoma County again? I'm not sure if you mean the Lake Sonoma 50 miler. And I would do it again. Yeah, I would. It's probably a couple years away, but I would, Bailey. Um, oh, yeah, Carrington. Oh, man. Well, I mean, I would take espresso every day, all day, um, and French press. But the issue is I just don't have time in the morning when I'm driving to the mountains to make a French press and yada, yada. yada. So we do drip, unfortunately. Like, I would love... Um, 
to make a French press every single day. That is for sure. Um, I know Swiss Peaks. I'm not sure about because isn't Sears and all? Um, isn't it in? I think it's in July. No, no, no. Is it two weeks before Pikes Peak? So I'm doing Pikes Peak, of course, because it's a, an hour from my house. And Sierra's and all, and then Pikes Peak, it's just too close. Like the body has to recover. So it's a good thought. 2022 for Sierra's and all, um, if I'm saying it right. Um, let's see. Okay. Good questions coming in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't know, Alex. That's a good question. Hold on. I'm just trying to find them all. This is why I don't know. Alex, I, I don't know. I'm, I got to think more on that. Um, maybe one of the new Nike, um, Nike shoes, the, um, not the dragonfly, but oh man. So Alex, I don't know. Obviously that was not a good answer, but I'm thinking about it. Actually, if anybody has any ideas, let me know in the chat. Again, I'm a long distance runner. 10 K is way out of my, like, that's not my specialty, but I do want to take a good crack at it. Come on now. Come on, Cody. You the best, Cody. Oh, come on. It's so good. So good. There it is. Come on. Welcome, Cody, to the studio, super fans. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see you there, Cody. I do appreciate it, sir. It doesn't go unnoticed or underappreciated. All right. So thank you. If you could go on a long run with any person who ever existed, who would it be? Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Wow. Oh man. A long run. So I guess that, does that mean they have to be a runner? Cause to do a long run? No. Um, oh my, Hmm. Actually everybody else answer this as well in the chat. All right. I don't want to be the only one answering here. So let me know. Um, who would you go on a long run with anybody in history? Man. Um, Hmm. See, these, these questions are just really hard. I mean, oh man, see, I, I'm stalling. I'm going to have to think for a second. There's just so much history. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. I, I can't even I can't even begin to think about that question. I studied history, so like all these names are hitting me and I can't pick one. Um I'll just throw out modern day. I do love the story or not the story, but I love the tenacity of Michael Jordan and I grew up watching Michael Jordan when I was a kid. So in the modern world, if Michael Jordan wanted to go for a run with me, I would go on a run with Michael Jordan. That's not a good uh, that's not a good answer, but um, that's funny. That's a good... Oh, uh, come on, Ivan. I'd go on a run with you, Ivan, any day. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, sorry, that was a bad answer. <laughs> uh, I don't... I haven't, that's a hard one. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, he's a cool guy, Julian. 100%. 100%. Yes, indeed. I just let... The reason I said Michael Jordan is... Uh, you know, I just got done watching The Last Dance on Netflix, and it's just like pretty amazing. His, I knew he was driven, but he, I, I just love his tenacity. So it's pretty special. It's pretty special. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a good question. I like this one. I was gonna make a vlog about this, but decided not to. Um, what do you think about the Jim Walmsley's 100K world record attempt? I think it's good. I think somebody. I think it was good. I think somebody in the last mile needed to be getting Jim a little more information so that Jim would have had a little more information as to how close he actually was. I know he was hurting. We could all hear him yelling. It was it was amazing. It was amazing. He got the American record, but I think I think he would have gotten it if somebody I'm just going to say like the person in the golf cart said with like a mile to go stay there, just stay there, keep going, like, and I, to me, I was like, no, don't stay there, you, it's too close, you gotta pick it up, like, you're just, the time is running out too close, and what was it, 11 seconds, he missed it, so, 
I, I think it, it was amazing. And I love Jim. Jim's, I got to hang out with Jim in Argentina for five days at the World Mountain Running Championships in 2019. So I got to uh, know Jim, you know, not real well, but uh, we talked, you know, quite a bit. And he's awesome. He's just an awesome guy to talk to. He loves running. He's very passionate about running. Like He's, he's a student of the sport um, in a big, big way. So anyway, I, I think it was a awesome and it was windy. I'm not saying Phoenix was like the best place to try that. Or maybe if it, if you know it's going to be wind. It wasn't horrible wind, but you saw like the trees blowing. Whereas Kipchoge in Vienna, it was like the perfect weather day. And I wish they would have maybe bumped, bumped it. Because, it you know, to be out there solo for so long with no... Anyway, it's an interesting... Those are a few thoughts. You get me going there, Jacob. You get me going there. Oh, man. Um, let's see. Jim, Tim, who the new member, how did Jim run like that with his shoulders split open? I mean, honestly, I don't know how bad it, like how deep it actually was. But when you've got your adrenaline going and your endorphins going, I mean, I doubt it impacted him like that much. It's like maybe a little bit mentally, but... Uh, I don't know. I just, I've been bloody, I've been bloody in races before where you fall and it's, it hurts for a second, but then you kind of forget about it. At least that's been my experience. So, uh, good question there, Tim. Um, George. Okay. Yes, Travis, Travis, I'm coming to you next. Hey Seth, if you were to choose one race performance over all those years, what would it be and why? choose one race slash like maybe uh, George, I, I don't know if you're asking my favorite or my f best one. Um, but I'll just say my, one of my, I'd say a race that I'm proud of is when, um, I was on the CU cross country team and I finished second on the team at our home meet. That was, that was a special day, um, uh, to beat out cause I was a walk on. So I beat, you know, all the other guys. Now it was in altitude. It was at altitude and I do, I, I race well at altitude for some reason. And so, um, but that was a special day. So good question, George, Travis. Yes. Yes. Right there. I would, uh, that's a good one, Travis. That is a good one. Oh, loved. I have his Jersey inside. That's how much I love TD. You know what that is, Travis. Okay. Um, Hmm. Oran, I would say three. I don't know what I said in the full review. I would say 350. So it's not going to last forever. Yeah, it's not going to last. You know, yeah, I agree. Hoka, it is. It's way better than the Rincon 2, though, for sure. And uh, I would say even the Clifton 7. Now, OK, maybe not way better, but better. Um, but I'm going to go like 350 to 400 miles for the Mach 4. Um, I should have brought it out here. It's, I like it so much. It's inside the house. All right. Um, let's see. I don't know, Patrick. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I don't have anything against Topo. You know, there, yeah. Oh man. It's like so many shoes, so little time. You know how the saying goes. Um, Alex real quick here. And we will probably take three or four more questions. And then I got to go edit the vlog. You know how that is. So, Alex, I don't know your background. I don't know your history. I don't know your injury history. I don't know your goals. I don't know a lot about you. Because, <laughs> all right, I don't know anything. But my rule of thumb is, all right, all right, this is my rule of thumb. If I was a coach, 20 miles a week as a freshman, 30 miles a week as a sophomore, 40 miles a week as a junior, I'm talking high school, and then 40 to 50 miles a week as a senior. Okay? That's my rule of thumb for high schoolers. And fast, that's a question like, yeah, I can't answer that because again, I just don't know you, but that's as far as volume goes. And again, it's all about easing into it. Oh man. So that's a big, big topic. Um, well, hmm, so many questions. Oh, sorry. I can't get to all of it. It's, it's so good. It's so good. 
Tim, oh, that's so good to hear. My glide rides are still going strong at 600 miles. I'm not surprised. The glide rides are built like a tank. Um, okay. Martha, you'll have to watch the, uh, here's one of them, Martha, but you'll have to watch the, uh, you have to watch the replay. There it is. There it is. Okay. The uh, Ultra 3. Okay. All right. So good. Again, I'm sorry. I can't see all this, all the, uh, questions here um real quick 1627 my name asking about my pbs 1627 1005 441 204 okay not anything crazy crazy fast all right old man strength kicking in now kicking in now oh yeah uh gotta go see you jay thanks for tuning in jay i appreciate it Uh uh-huh Alex, you are welcome. You are very, very welcome. Okay, Javier, I have never owned a high-end carbon fiber plated shoe. I'm 5'5". Awesome. Uh, So am I. Running 7.15 per mile, looking at either the Alpha Fly or Vaporfly. Would I wait until Vaporfly 2, but release is unknown? I think I've heard, I thought I heard this summer for for the two, for the for the official release, Javier. Um, I would get the one. I would just get the one. Yeah. And the upper is a, you know, it's an update to the upper and it's the vapor weave upper, but I think I would just, I don't know if I would wait all the way to the summer. And I personally would choose the, um, the vapor fly or sorry. Are you saying, um, are you saying, sorry, vapor fly. I thought that I was processing in my brain. I think you mean the next percent. Yeah. The next percent. So next percent one, there you go. Um, Dan, maybe, maybe Dan, would I ever consider using the Audios Pro, uh, over the next percent for half marathon? The the issue with the Audios Pro is I just thought it was a firmer landing, a little too firm. And, um, the upper definitely did not wrap over the top of my foot very well, but Dan, here's the deal. It's, uh, it's not the shoe. It's the athlete, right? So, I'm just going to say like, yes, we can talk about shoes all day, but at the end of the day, the world record, it's like, it comes down to the talent of the athlete. So, um, I think as we progress with all these carbon fiber plates, it's going to become more and more clear as the technology develops in all of the running shoe companies that at the end of the day, it's more important to, um, what's most important is the training and the talent of the athlete. Okay. So that's my, that's my thought there. Um, all right, here we go. Here we go. Oh man. Okay. All right. Two more, two more. Uh huh. Robin, I would go with the, uh, Hyperion tempo. Yeah. Yeah. Hyperion tempo would be my, you know, the, um, yeah, the uh, the endorphin speed is one hundred and sixty dollars, I do believe. So, uh, and that has a nylon plate, not a carbon plate. So, there you go. Okay, and we'll take one more here. Um, Oran, I mean, it's all kind of the same at the end of the day, but it was very easy as far as breathing goes. The first ten miles, I did start to labor more the last three miles you know, going into more oxygen debt. Um, yeah. So there you go. And okay. I think that's it. Oh, I hate to, I hate to run. Um, I hate to run. I'll just say hello to Alex. Thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you again to all the, all the new members. I do appreciate it. And, uh, We'll keep working hard. That was fun. Three shoes unboxed today in the studio. I tried to answer as many questions as possible. I wish I could keep going, but got to go edit the vlog. So you guys rock. DGR strong. And um, yeah, gosh, a lot of running shoe reviews coming onto the channel in the next, uh, gosh, next seven to 14 days. Hopefully I don't overwhelm you. If I overwhelm you, just let me know in the comments, Seth, too many running shoe reviews because it is 
like I said, like we just unboxed three more. So anyway, but before we go, uh oh, come on now. There he is. There he is. Oh, you are the best. Thank you, Chad, for joining up, Studio Super Fans. Boom, 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 boom. I do appreciate it. Helps me make these vlogs. All right. So, all right. Shout out one more time, Bridget, Jason, Tommy, Chad. Uh, Tropical Runner, Andre, Ivan, Lisa, Sophia, Oran. Oh my goodness, so many people. 400 people. How can I say goodbye to 400 people? How can I do that? That's not, that's not right. I can't say goodbye to 400 people, but I have to. Oh man, all right. As I always say, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Turn that doorknob. Turn that doorknob.